and Chef Kimberly here. We are at Sub-Zero Wolf Cove showroom in Costa Mesa, California, and I have the amazing Chef Molly with me today. Say hi, Chef Molly. Hi. So we're gonna be cooking some stuff on the 54-inch grill today. So what are we cooking? We are cooking some tres leche, tres on, leche the barbecue. on the grill because you yep. cannot substitute dessert when you're grilling outside. Come I on. agree. I always have Absolutely. to have dessert. Um, so let's get started. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna do a little butter on our pound cake and then we're gonna sear that on there. Um, and then you could also get a burner, a side burner, right? Absolutely. We're gonna be uh, mm -hmm. cooking our strawberries down for our pound cake yeah. or for our tres leche. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the butter. I'm gonna melt this down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the strawberries for our kind of like stewed strawberries with a little bit of rum and sugar. And, um, you know, with our outdoor uh, lineup, so mm -hmm. not only do we have the barbecue, but we also have our under counter refrigeration, which we had all of our uh, product mm -hmm. in there before. You can have everything sliced and diced and prepped. Yeah. And we also have our refrigerator drawers. So we it's hot out here today. Yeah, so we, so we have been some waters down here. Waters. <laughs> you can have beer in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm and, talking about. Um, so it's nice to have the refrigeration. We also have our ice uh, makers. makers down here. We are kind of in the right spot for the ice yeah. makers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna douse myself in some ice right now. Yeah. It's a nice warm day today. <laughs> All right, so with the pound cake, I'm just gonna brush a little bit of butter on there. Okay, I mean, it already has enough butter, I mean, but is there ever enough butter, really? Never. Never enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and set this right here next to the cast iron. There's so much space here. We do offer four sizes in our barbecues. Uh, we have a 30, 36, 42, and 54. Ooh, okay. And uh, can can they be um, on a cart as well too, right? And then built in? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So th the only one, so the 30, 30, uh, 36, 42 can all be on carts. The 54 has to be built, built in. in. Okay, so that's Only nice because to know. of the size of it. Yeah, it's really nice to know when you're configuring your outdoor grill, if it, whether you want it on a cart to move it around, if you want to move it to different places in your backyard, or if you just want it built in on a really nice countertop with that refrigeration under it, the ice makers and kind of have everything around you so you're not moving around, going back and forth from your house, right? Absolutely. Especially if you're out like swimming and you have, you're have you soaked in water, you don't definitely want to check that in your nice hardwood floors. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the other thing is, is that you can have your whole event outside because we also have our uh, outdoor ASCO dishwashers. Oh, and okay. that is rated very specifically for out, outdoor and uh, to be able to use so that you can have your whole event, you can build an outdoor kitchen and mm. never have to go back inside the house like to get that. anything. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to give these a nice little flip. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. So we just want a nice little grill mark on them. What we'll do is we'll throw them in our bowl, we're going to serve them in and then we're going to let that soak. So you can let it soak for, I don't know, maybe like an hour or two. Or if you're not patient, you just Dive in, who cares? There's no <laughs> rules here. There's no rules here. There's no, no rules. rules. That's okay. the thing that I love about barbecue. Yeah, right? <laughs> so this is kind of like a coconut mix that I do. So I use, um, which I just recently discovered and I love using it. It's, a co it's actually coconut condensed milk instead of just regular condensed milk. So it's a little bit of coconut condensed milk, coconut milk, um, whole milk, and then um, evaporated milk. So this is cuatro leches. This isn't tres leches. We're doing cuatro today, okay? <laughs> I love that condensed coconut. Uh, isn't it amazing? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think it's way better than the regular one. It just gives it like, just, I think it's like almost sweeter. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this on here and then the cake's going to go ahead and soak most of that. And then we could just go ahead and refrigerate it. So I still have my burner on. I'm going to go ahead and throw these strawberries in here. About half a cup of sugar. No one said this is healthy, guys. No one said it's yeah. healthy. <laughs> All the sugar. And then a little bit of rum. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the burner. Let that kind of cook down. Oh, and then my strawberries are nice and done. Your strawberries are good. 
with our burners, they are a glow plug. They mm -hmm. are a glow igniter. So you're not going to hear that click, click, click. Okay. When you were turning it on earlier, I, I was watching and because um, we're used to acclimate, we're acclimated to hearing that sound. Uh -huh. But it's a glow igniter. When we turn on the uh, sear zone in the back, you're going to see that it's just going to glow. Glow. Okay. So here we have our tres leche. I'm going to go ahead and grab some gloves. Little whipped cream. I might only have that and right forget the taco. <laughs> forget the taco. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of my strawberries first. So these kind of have been sitting here. Look nice, kind of thick. You got some of the juices from that. We're just gonna go ahead and pour this on top of there. Do you have any sugar in there? Yes, I do. It's about half a cup of sugar. Nice. Gorgeous. I think we might start off with dessert first I think and so. then tacos. <laughs> Get some of that. Just kind of pour it in there. And then I toasted some coconut. I mean, that looks amazing. Yum. <laughs> All right, let's just dig in. Yum. Let's see, how did I do? <laughs> Wonderful. Mm. Can you taste that mint? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Mm. I love I think coconut. this is a winner. All I think we through. did a good job. Yep. I think I think we know what we're doing. <laughs> do you share recipes? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah. I do share them. I mean, we do share them on our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have like little reels on there and recipes. Um, but we could definitely share these. I think they're great recipes. Yeah. I think people would love them. Absolutely. One more bite. One more bite yeah. before we go. <laughs> mm. Thank you everyone for watching and a special thank you for you, Chef Molly, for having me here at Sub-Zero Wolf My Cove pleasure. in Costa we're Mesa. To have you here. Yes, and if you would like to come see this for yourself, please visit me at Perch or come visit Chef Molly. Absolutely. You can go to perch.com to find the showroom nearest you. Um, and Chef Molly, you're fully open, right? We are fully open. We are taking appointments. We encourage you to make an appointment before yes. you come on in because we want to know what we're working with you yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And if we don't have it live, Chef Molly does. So again, thank you everyone. Thank, thank you, Chef you. Molly. Thank you, Chef Kim. Thank you. <laughs> This is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.